Hi everyone, DJ's Aviation. Today we have a very exciting development on the Boom Supersonic Jet. I've covered the Boom Supersonic Jet in a earlier video that I posted around two and a half months ago. There will be a card on your screen now if you want to watch that before watching this one. I kind of run over what the Supersonic Jet's going to be, the features, and how it will be different to today's airliners. But I'll just give a brief rundown of what I mentioned. I'm not going to go as in-depth, but essentially, the Boom Supersonic Jet is designed to travel at 2,300 kilometers an hour, seat 55 passengers, and have a range of around 8,300 kilometers. Boom uh, Technology, the company who are doing it, Looking at an introduction around 2023, but I do believe that is um, quite unlikely. And you're probably thinking, what is the development? If you haven't read the title, Qatar Airways are actually interested in this supersonic jet, and more generally the potential that it could hold. So as we know, Qatar Airways have just received their first A350-1000, so of course the chief executive of Qatar was actually speaking to the press regarding the A350-1000 when the topic of the supersonic jets came up during like the press briefing interview stages. This is a direct quote. He said they were very interested in supersonic flight and referred to private efforts to create a new supersonic transport. He went on to say Qatar would be very interested to look at such a project we wouldn't hesitate to be the launch customer. So does this mean that we could actually finally see a supersonic jet come back in the coming years, especially if Boom Technology end up contacting Qatar directly and try and sort something up, a bit like what I discussed with Delta and Boeing regarding the new 797 and how Delta wanted to play a key part in the production stages of that. The last thing he went on to say, um, not many details were shared from the chief executive, but he did mention one last thing, and that was they would only be interested in a small amount. So I wonder if, if airlines do order this aircraft, it would only be in small amounts, and we wouldn't really see an airline or a business corporation just jump to, let's say, 25 of them. I think we might see it be around 1 to 10, 1 to 5 to start with, because as we know, yes, uh, Boom Technology can put forward all these points, but is it going to succeed? Is it going to be a safe aircraft? That's going to go through a lot of testing, and I believe a lot of airlines will be very skeptical at first, especially if it will be the first one coming back after the Concorde. So thank you very much for watching another one of my videos. Feel free to leave your thoughts on this whole aircraft and Qatar being interested in the comment section below. I do hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all in my next one. Peace.